welcome to Juneau, Alaska. If you're new here, or you don't remember because it's been so long since I made a video, I'm Elizabeth behind the blog A Suitcase Full of Books, and it's Independent Bookstore Day. So I thought today I would go hit up the four independent bookstores in my hometown of Juneau and take you with me so you can see them. So if you were to come into Juneau by cruise ship, you would come in at this dock where I am now. There's no boats in today, so all the kiosks are empty and I'm stealing one for now. And so if you were to come in, there are two bookstores that are within walking distance from the dock. So we're gonna head to those two first. And then a little bit later, we're gonna head to the other two in town, which are farther from downtown and you would need transportation to get to. So we're gonna head down the dock to our first independent bookstore, which is Carside Books. Let's get going. The first bookstore is in this blue building behind me, right on the water. Carside Books and Toys has been a Juno institution since 1975. It has two locations, this downtown one in the Merchant's Wharf Mall and the other in Juno's Valley Nugget Mall. The downtown location is smaller, but in my opinion, much more quaint and pretty. Carside sells new books for all reading levels and books range from nationally popular to local Alaskan authors. The selections within each genre are somewhat limited, but if you're looking for a new book or game to occupy the rest of a Southeast Alaska cruise or a bookish Alaska souvenir, you'll find it here. For example, you could pick up Patsy Ann of Alaska, a children's book about the dog that has been memorialized as a statue on the cruise ship dock. If you haven't seen my vlog about this, make sure to go check it out. Meanwhile, I seem to have found my first book purchase of the day. My second stop of the day will be Rainy Retreat Books, which is about a block and a half uphill from the wharf. Rainy Retreat Books sells new and used books and records, and often has a dog to greet you at the door. I love the tight passageways between the bookcases and the smell of old books in this shop. It feels exactly like a bookstore should. If you're looking for a couple of books to inspire further walking around Juno, I'd recommend picking up Fighter in Velvet Gloves and checking out my blog post about a do-it-yourself Elizabeth Peretrovich walk around downtown. Or you could pick up The Floor of Heaven, part of which takes place in Treadwell, a former mining town on Douglas Island, of which you can see the remains by walking the Treadwell Mine Historic Trails. Today, it wasn't the Alaska section that caught my eye, however, but the YA books by the front window. To get to the next two bookstores, we hopped back in the car and left downtown. We're going to head about seven miles from downtown to what we call the valley and that's where the second two bookstores are that are a little bit more, they have more of a local vibe because the tourists don't usually get down there. Being out of the touristy area of Juneau, the outside of the Nugget Mall isn't very exciting. And the inside hallway is kind of dim. But the Valley Harside Books is bright, happy, and big. Filled with books, toys, games, notebooks, and other bookish odds and ends, this is my go-to bookstore, mostly because of its location. The bookstore also hosts author talks and events every now and then. Recently, they brought my favorite Alaskan author, Heather Lende, in from Haines, Alaska to talk about her latest book. 
I highly recommend her books if you want to know what living in small town Alaska is really like. She captures it perfectly. Today, it was time to head to our last stop before I bought another book. Ooh, like this one. I don't have it yet, but I want to read it. All right, on to our last stop, book stop number four. The amazing bookstore is just around the corner from the Nugget Mall in the airport shopping center. It's the perfect location to pick up a book for the plane if you're flying out of town. The Amazing Bookstore is our Friends of the Library bookstore, and it's completely run by volunteers. It only sells used books, all donated by locals, and the money goes towards our Juno Public Library branches. Although the books are cheap, from a few cents to at most five dollars, and you can stock up on several books for next to nothing here, this bookshop managed to give over a million dollars to build a new valley branch for our library. I wouldn't come here looking for anything specific, but there are a lot of gems mixed in with all these donated books. You just need the time to look. And they're so cheap, you may leave with a lot more books than you intended. Of course, my favorite shelf in here is the one filled with travel writers' books. Like Bill Bryson, though I probably don't need another copy of this book. This one looks interesting. Well, I bought more books today than I intended. I hope you enjoyed that little outing with me. And why don't I show you my book haul for the day? So, at the first bookstore, Hearthside Downtown, I found this book by Nick Offerman. I didn't know Nick Offerman wrote books, but this one looks uh, like fun, looks funny and entertaining. And it's about Nick Offerman and being outside, so that's gotta be good. And then at Rainy Retreat Books, I found three of the Peculiar Children books, which is very exciting. I only have them on ebook so far, and I love these books. So now I have number two, three, and four in print, and I actually already have five and six on my bookshelf, which means I just need number one to make the set complete, so that's exciting. And then I didn't get any more books at the Valley location for Harside. But at the last stop, at the Amazing Bookstore, I did buy three more books. <laughs> so I found I'm a Stranger Here Myself by Bill Bryson, and this is my favorite Bill Bryson book because it was the first of his that I read and started my love affair with Bill Bryson as an author. And so I bought this because I'm going to put it in my little free library because I'm excited to share it with someone. And of course, all three of the books I bought I found on my favorite shelf, which is the Travel Writers shelf. So the next one I found was Too Much Tuscan Sun, and this sounds like basically the counterpoint to uh, Frances May's Under the Tuscan Sun. So this is by a Italian tour guide and his commentary on the American tourists that come to Tuscany. So I think this will be a nice book to pair with reading Frances May's book. And then for the last book, it's a literary travel guide to Paris for those wanting to walk in Gertrude Stein's footsteps. So I think that's going to be good to pair with not only my um, Shakespeare and Company book, which I started but haven't finished yet, but also I have been really wanting to go to Paris, so this will be a good book to travel plan with. So that's my book haul for today and I cannot wait to start reading. <laughs> so if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more literary travel videos and I am going to start reading. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!